What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916, and you're tuned in to another edition of my vlog. Hopefully, by now, you subscribe to the channel because you know I represent that positivity and that motivation. And, uh, you know, I try to keep you guys uh, going in the right direction, hopefully, elevating your consciousness, creating some conversation, and entertaining you at the same time. And the reason I got my shirt off in this video is because. Uh, you know, a couple people have been mentioned, Big Herc, you look like you're getting fat. You're fat, man. How long are you going to be bulking up? Nigga, I'm going to stay bulking up because I'm a bulky nigga. I don't give a fuck about walking around skinny, even though I have a tendency to wear clothes that are fitted. I'm 255 and uh, I'm 45 years young on swole and I can still handle my business. So, you know, I guess you could say, uh, I can pinch a little bit, but, you know, I really don't give a damn. I'm not uh, tripping off no six-pack, eight-pack, as long as I can still uh, bust some guts, handle my business. You know, a lot of cats are so busy worried about they eight-pack that they can't please a woman. Your woman, boy, she going to find somebody who can lay it down, and he ain't got to have a, a horse penis either. All he got to do is keep that thing hard and keep a grin on her face. That's where you guys got the game messed up. But about training, staying in shape, get a lot of questions about nutrition. Man, the book is on Amazon, Resistance Responsive Training. You can order on Amazon. The link's in the description. Make sure you check it out. Um, really, the topic of this video is every woman has a little freak in them. It just takes the right man to bring it out. A nigga like Big Herc. I'll bring that motherfucking freak out. You know what I mean? Because I ain't afraid to take it to the next level. See, a lot of guys, they on some square shit. Like I said, they worried about their eight pack. They worried about the size of their weenie. You would be surprised how many men ask me a comment about the size of my penis in relative and uh, to me doing porn. Now, I don't know why you watch porn and worry about the size of the next man's uh, Johnson when you should be focused on the female if you aren't a Peter Gazer. But for you Peter Gazers out there, shout out to you. If you like to judge a man on the size of his penis, then you must have a really shitty ego. And, uh, you must have a lot of hangouts because size is relative. And uh, you know, I ain't tripping, man. I mean, I was in the business. If you was in the business, then it should, you know what I mean, represent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I stepped across the line where a lot of you guys only talk about the line. See, that's the kind of motherfucker I am. I step out there. But as far as bringing the freak out, yeah. The right motherfucker will bring the freak out in any woman. See, not everybody's capable of doing that, though. Some of you squares out there, you know, you like to remain anonymous. But you marry a female. You watch all this kinky porn. And then you go and... um don't know how to approach your woman about doing the same thing you just seen in the video because you're scared that she might actually do it see that's what you can't be scared of you can't be scared of what the reaction brings because then you know what I mean you'll be forever uh, thinking like who else is she doing this shit with you can't think like that that's an insecure man's mentality if you really about having that freak in the bed watch the porno with her you know what I mean sure what you like Sure, you like that old freaky shit and let her let her embrace it, you know, and if she doesn't embrace it, then, hey, maybe it's time for you to move on because sex is a big part of the relationship. Outside of finances, sex is the main reason people break up these days because if a motherfucker's papered out, he ain't got to put up with shit. If the, if the woman ain't, you know, going with the flow, then why are you staying around? Why are you complaining? I mean, a lot of dudes complain, complain, complain. They don't know, uh, they can tell you the last time they had sex, but yet they continue to be in a relationship. I don't get it. I would not sacrifice my happiness when, if it calls for me to keep it pushing, I'm gonna keep it pushing, man, life's too short. And then you got a mistress and you're sneaking around and all this bullshit, and it's causing a lot of motherfucking headaches and drama, man. So if you want a freak in the bed, man, hey, make her a freak. Suck her toes. 
you know, put your tongue where, you know what I mean, she wouldn't think it, it would go and see what happens. And if she likes it, which most likely she is, because every woman wants to be a freak. They all fantasize about being that one. They just don't want you to think they're that one because then you might judge them. And that's because men have a tendency to judge women that do things that are a little extra kinky. Which ain't nothing wrong with a woman being extra kinky. Because you want to be kinky, and then you go around sleeping with all kind of women and thinking it's fly. But when she does it, she's a whore. She's a slut. You know what I mean? Why is that? We're all praised for being sluts. We get high fives from the homies for putting it down, for busting cheeks, for being OG cheek busters, coochie assassins. But when a woman because becomes a, you know, a, a, a professional, you know, hound on that thing, we want to point the finger at her. That ain't right, man. You guys know what I'm talking about. You got a wife at home? You got a girlfriend? Hey, man, put in one of those old videos, man. One of those little kinky European videos. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, see if she don't get all aroused up. And when they say they're not aroused up, all you gotta do is do the hand check. That thing will tell you what the hell's really going on. See, they can't hide that. They can hide maybe their facial expression, but they can't hide what the body feels. And a lot of times, women think about sex more than we do women can look at you within 10 15 seconds 30 seconds tops and determine whether or not they want to sleep with you and it ain't based on the size of your goddamn penis you guys are caught up on that old uh you know re, you know super hanging down to your kneecap well if you're fascinated with that man they got videos for that too but the bottom line is work with what you got be proud of what you have you know put it down you know, slang it with some authority. And you'll be respected. As long as you can handle your business, if you can last more than motherfucking five minutes, then the woman's gonna be more than happy, you know what I mean, that you got her off before you got off. Cause a lot of you guys are just concerned with getting yourselves off, and that's why your woman on the side got that gangster dick. She got that motherfucking nigga who does have that swipe and who puts it down like he's slanging a motherfucking lasso. And a lot of y'all thinking, oh man, you know, what's up, with, what's up with wifey? She don't like to, you know, do this and that. Well, she's doing it with somebody else. Because if you're too square, she's gonna go find it where she can get it. And that might be a quickie at work at the office, in the bathroom, on the, uh, in the hotel up the street from the office, wherever she can get it. Because women need it just as bad as men. So when you think the man is creeping with the same, the woman's doing the same thing, so believe that. You guys gotta stay on top of your game, man. And, uh, you know, ain't nothing wrong with taking it to the next level. Hot candle wax, a little bit of ice, handcuffs, a little bit of rope, blindfold, the gag, lotion, oil, you know, edible underwear. All that good stuff, man. I can't give away all my secrets because some of you guys wouldn't know how to take it. It'd be too much for you. But I got a lot of game I can lace you up with. I do consulting. Holler at me. BigHerk916.com If you're having problems in your relationship and you're trying to step your game up, hey, man, holler at me, man. BigHerk916.com But subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep you laced up. I can't get too descriptive on here because of uh, YouTube and I don't want to get uh, you know, the video pulled like the BBW experience. So I'm gonna keep this one lightweight, but I said enough to where you should understand that every woman has a freak up in her. You just gotta bring it out. I don't care if it's a, a BBW, if it's a mature, if it's a MILF, if it's a POG, you know what I mean? If it's a cuckold, they're all out there. You know, the girl next door, the moms, they just need the right person to say, hey, it's okay, open up, let it out, breathe a little bit. You know what I mean? We embrace you. And once she's embraced, bro, you better watch out because once you open that Pandora's box, hey, ain't no, ain't no turning back. She gonna be wanting to get it like that all the time. So be ready for it. If you ain't ready for it, hey man, don't be mad because it might be another motherfucker who is ready for it, who brings it out in her. And uh, you know, he's gonna be one putting it down, busting them damn cheeks like they ain't never been busted before. 
So be about your game, man. Stay laced up. Big Herc 916. I'll holler at you. Subscribe to the channel.